They announced their divorce in 2016, but Angelina Jolie has been talking again about her separation from Brad Pitt, admitting she'd like to move abroad. But I have to say, when I read that, I was like, well, yes, why wouldn't he... Why, why wouldn't, wouldn't he, you want to? Why wouldn't you want to <laughs> let your children be near their father? And actually, why can't a father say, no, I'm sorry, I don't want you to take my children to another country. I want to be able to see them, and so we should both be based in the same place. I mean, obviously, I don't know all the details of their situation, and, you know, maybe it's something you could compromise, but it did get us talking, didn't it, about yeah. should you stay and be close to your children? Should both parents be in the, the same city or at least in the same country? I mean, I, um, I agree with you, Ruth. I almost feel like it's not fair to leave. I mean, if you both if you both met each other and were together in an area and that's where one of the parties want to stay, then you should both have to stay there for the sake of the children. Mm. I think even... It, I mean, America's a massive place, mm. so imagine if you just decided to move state. It could mm. be almost impossible for people to see their children. I just... Even in England, in this country, you can move from one end to the other and the commute to have to see your child would be really, really difficult, and I think that that's... A I, I, but then a bit... is it something that you think then should be made just kind of legally binding that you know part of the divorce is that you both have to remain because you know, somebody could say look I have to move for work I've got this fantastic mm. job opportunity I'm I moving to Scotland it's at the moment should you say well you can't because the kids are here and I'm not moving at the moment it's very difficult to so most of the time the the, the female can choose where the mum can choose where she wants to live and the dad then has to make the effort to go and see them but if I wanted to move to Scotland, for example, and my partner, who we'd had children with, was still in England and wanted to see their children. They shouldn't have to then fly to Scotland and back to see them, in my but you, opinion. should you be stopped from going? Should no. they be allowed to say, well, you can't take the kids to Scotland then? No, because if I had a job and I needed to, then that's one thing, but I should be made to make an effort to make sure that my children get to see their other parent, because I think it's a really... I think this is a, this is a huge problem. That that's gone on for a long time. And a, a friend of mine, his wife, uh, decided their marriage was over and she, she made the decision and then she took their three children to the north of England and he had to commute from Sussex up to the north of England every single weekend and it really impacted on his work as well, you know, and it's costing a lot of money. And I think what Angelina Jolie has said here is so selfish. It's all about her, isn't it? Mm. I mean, this is a woman who, if she cares so much about the image of herself as a, you know, responsible mum, why has she got a kit off once again for Harper's Bazaar? Why is she posing in the nude? I mean, you just find it... But a bit... th that's irrelevant, isn't it, how she decides whether she wants to be naked or not? But I, I agree with you. I think it's a really... Are you putting the children first by publicly saying, I want to move as far away from uh, as possible from their dad and he won't let me? Mm. Or, you know, you always have to think about them before any of the emotions. Yeah, I mean, in an ideal world, you hope that everybody puts everything through the prism of what's best for the children. Um, but sadly, a lot of people don't. Sadly, I mean, a lot of people use their children. I, I don't, I don't know with, with that, because, you know, it's very difficult in print. You don't know whether her tone was... Maybe they said, do you want to move abroad? And she might have said, well, yeah, you know, one mm. day, but obviously at the minute I've got to stay here because yeah. mm. this is where their dad is, but when they're 18, I might move... You'd, it's very difficult to tell what, what her tone was. Um, but... I mean, if you think about it, like you were saying about Scotland, it's true, you can move your kids... Literally, so you can, if you live in Cornwall, you can move to Scotland and it's like a seven-hour journey. Yeah. But, you know, there is the Hague Convention, so if you... Parental child abduction, weirdly, is a huge problem. And a lot of people take their kids... If they take them to Europe, the Hague Convention will act in your favour if your child's been taken without your permission out of the country to live. Um, but then there are a whole other load of countries. Yeah. I remember I made um, a documentary about this once and actually, weirdly, the biggest... Uh, the country with the biggest problem, and I was thinking, oh, it would be the Middle East, maybe, where there's mm. no Contra deal, it's Australia. Yes. Because, actually, lots of Australians come over to kind of, you know, do a bit of a gap year or whatever, have relationships, have children, and then when it goes wrong, they want to go back to their support yeah. network. And what... the other partner's going, well, sorry, you can't. What about um, people staying under the same roof, because uh, recent figures, surveys uh, out recently said that more than four million couples are still living together after they've broken up. And on what? average, they stay living together for at least four months I mean, before I they're able to move to a new home. So I that would be very hard. I commend people if they hard. can do that, but 
that is very... That, if you, you think about all the reasons why marriages yeah. break up, that would be quite tricky. But surely it's, but it's uh, primarily for financial reasons, yeah. because yeah. That when you split up, you know, you have to sell the house, uh, that'll take time, and, you know, it's really tough. I mean, property prices mean that also that you have to wait a long time at the moment to sell your house, mm. and then you're not going to get anywhere as good. Well, most of, I, I agree, most of the time, if people are staying in, in the same home, it's not out of choice. It's because there is no yeah. other way. And if you, like what Janet said, if you have to split... If, if you were a couple and that's what you could afford as a couple, separated, you can only afford half of that. So your whole lives have got to change yeah. and, you, and it's difficult. Le well, uh, Leanne says, I think it's kinder on the children and those involved to live apart. It can't be a healthy relationship to all be together. Tracy says, I did live with my ex for many years as I didn't want my children coming from a broken home, but by the end I hated him so much. Mm. Now I know it's far better to come from a broken home than to live in an unhappy one. It's like, well, <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of end up living with somebody, having to still put up with all the irritations, but none of the fun. Yeah, but yeah, I, really. I think that you're getting divorced, it doesn't mean that you, everybody is not going to get on. Mm. There will be some people who can manage to live yeah. in the same yeah. house. Yeah. yeah, My parents lived well, in the same somebody, house until they, they could both... Yeah, until my dad found somewhere that he and could... And how was that for you? I, to be honest with you, they are an exception to the rule. They're amazing mm. parents and they didn't argue in front of us and made it very easy for us. So I, we didn't notice the difference, but we knew they would split up. They had split up and it was inevitable that they wouldn't be there forever together. But it's just what they had to do because neither of them could afford mm. to live separately at the time. I know a couple who chose to do it. They could afford to live separately, but they chose to stay in the same house because they didn't want to make it awkward for their kids. And then as soon as they left school, they, they, they went separate ways. And it was amazing that they yeah. managed that, I think. Well, it's selfless, isn't it, yeah. I suppose, isn't it? Uh, Cheryl says, I'd always be local so my son could have contact, but I could never live with an ex. Well, so it's the thought a of friend it's... of mine is a barrister specialising in child abduction cases and he said they are truly tragic stories. Mm. And obviously, the more money that people have, or if in a marriage uh, one of them is, you know, well off, they can take the children and just remove yeah. themselves from the UK and it yeah. can take years... To get them back. To get yeah. them back. No, you hear some awful stories, don't you?